Hey Bestie Trini here, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am super excited to film for you guys and it is on one of the most talked about powder foundations recently here on YouTube uh, and that is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation Powder and here she is right here in all of her glory. All right, so let's get real quick right into it all right so let's talk pricing the retail price and the foundation is uh priced at 36 dollars you can pick it up from sephora or the fenty beauty's website now some of the claims all right this foundation claims to be long wearing uh, light as air is supposed to give no flashback uh, it has a blur filter complex that delivers the ultimate blurred finish okay girl <laughs> it is also supposed to be sweat humility and crease resistant you're supposed to be able to build it up from medium to full coverage so we're gonna check all of that out all right so let's take a quick look at the packaging now the foundation has about 50 shades and you all know that Fenty really is good with shade ranges so this they released 50 shades in this powder now I absolutely love good packaging y'all so y'all already know here is the foundation powder here hopefully you guys can see that and my lights are not washing it out because it is white it does come with a mirror and then if you flip this thing up it has another mirror which i thought is really really cool um it's not as good as this mirror here um it's not as clear as this one but it's cool to have another mirror here and then it has of course your sponge now i I've heard a lot of different things about this foundation. Um, when I went to pick out my shade, I picked up shade 410. Um, but I was told, because I was told that the foundation in the powder, you need to go down a shade because it can be darker than your normal shade. Because normally in the liquid foundation, I'm 420. Um, but I was told by the young lady in Sephora to go down a shade. And when I matched this in the store, it was good. But you know, when you under them lights in Sephora, girl, it can be tricky, girl. So we're going to see how this works out. So again, this is a packaging again. Um, and I am in the shade 410. So I'm just ready to go ahead and apply. Now, what I'm going to do is do something a little bit different because it's a powder foundation you usually want to put your creams on or your liquids first so before you put on the the powder now normally with liquid foundation of course you'll put on the liquid foundation and then go on with your concealers and all that but this is a powder and it doesn't move it moves easier easier excuse me um when you already have your creams and your liquids on so that's what we're going to do i'm going to take my elf hydrating primer ser serum because i do have all these combination skin as a matter of fact let me pull my hair back let me pull my hair back y'all so i can get it out of my face all right guys so we're gonna go in with the elf hydrating primer um because like i said i have combination skin so i do get dry patches on my face so we're just gonna go in with this really quickly and then I usually take the um, a high, I'm sorry, a mattifying primer in the center of my face and my T zones where I would get oily. So we're gonna press this into the skin real quick, y'all. And I love this um, primer. If you guys haven't tried this Elf hydrating primer, it's really really good. It blurs out your fine lines and everything, and it doesn't overdo it where it builds out so much oil it still allows everything to be mattifying all right guys now i'm going in with my rimmel stay matte primer and again i just put this on the center of my face just because this is pretty much where i get oily All right, you guys, so I'm all primed up. So we're gonna go right into the foundation. Now, it says to use the sponge that comes with it. So what I'm gonna do is, I would never use a sponge unless I was like touching up during the day when I'm wearing a powder foundation. I'm lying. I'm not supposed to be putting on my concealer, girl, bye. <laughs> so 
sorry guys. I'm supposed to be putting on the lies, y'all. The lies. I'm going in with two concealers. It's going to be first the Sephora Bright uh, Future the Gel uh, Serum Concealer. I have a little bit left in this. I haven't used this in so long. This looks so dry. Wow. So I'm going to go in with this one. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm pretty much out of this. This thing here, y'all, is pretty much dry. Ooh. Wow. I actually really, really like this concealer. And I'm pretty much out of it, as you guys can see. It's very, very dry now. And then I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer, which is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade nc45 and this one the sephora was in shade 13. so i just squirt because this has a pump on it i just squirt this on the back of my hand like such and take a foundation brush and i apply it right usually in the center and i sometimes go over and i mix the two together Now, as y'all know, if y'all know about MAC products, y'all know they smell like paint. So, if that's not your thing, girl, this might not be for you, but this video not about that. So, let's go ahead and go in and blend that out real quick. And I'll speed this process up, y'all. Going to go in with our Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Setting Powder and banana and we're just going to set under the eyes and pretty much on the nose because that's everywhere I put concealer. Again, you want to do all of this before applying powder foundation just because it does not move as easy um, when you go in on top of a powder. Just set that real quick, y'all. So now y'all, we're gonna go in with the star of the show. So like I was saying before, before I realized that I didn't put the concealer on, I, for this side of my face, I'm going to use the sponge that comes with this. Now again, I would not normally use this unless I was out and I wanted to like touch up, but for initial application, I would not use this, but because it recommends this for full coverage, I will put this, I'll use this, a sponge on this side, and then I'll go with a brush on this side um, to see how it works with both. So we're gonna go right into it. Again, this is shade 410. Hopefully she matches, girl. Okay. I feel like she matches. And this does give good coverage. It really looks like flawless skin. So let's see, I don't really like using the sponge though, guys. Try with this, but I don't really like using a sponge. We're gonna go get all around the perimeter of our face, around the nose area. Really pack it on. Now, what I will say is, this is why you want to put your concealer on because I feel like it comes together once you start putting on your powder foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with the brush y'all because I really feel just more comfortable with that. This is the Morphe M44444 brush. Um, and it's just really densely packed. And this is what I, is good when you're using powder foundation to get the most fullest coverage that you can possibly get out of the powder. Now it does make it a little, it kind of like make it a little messy, but hey. Now let's see. We're going to just pack that on, if you guys can see that. I feel like this is giving the same coverage that the sponge was giving. 
the key to getting a full coverage with um, powder foundations is you have to use a dense brush. You have to, or you will not get the coverage that you really, really want. Not if you're looking for full coverage. Now, if full coverage is not what you're looking for, then of course, you can go on with a brush that is not so dense and just um, buff the foundation powder into your skin. I think I'm gonna do a full um, powder foundation routine so you guys can kind of see, but this for the most part, you see what I'm doing here. And again, I'm just buffing that in. I think the shade is perfect. I think I did good. I'll see when I watch this back. But you guys comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the shade. I think 410 works for me. So if you are uh, in a certain shade in, in Fenty, you in the liquid, you want to go down one. At least one or two. Like I said, I'm 420 um, in the liquid foundation with Fenty. But I, the young lady, like I said, in Sephora told me that the foundation, the powder normally in this foundation is darker than what you will normally be. So that's why I did choose to go down a shade, okay? Because I could never wear 410 in the liquid foundation, never. Never, ever, ever. I think this look good though, I like this. And see guys, this is why it's so important to put on the concealer first because then you can move around it a little bit better without the concealer moving. It's already set. I really like this. Hmm. I'm supposed to be using the, the sponge on this side. Ooh, I like, guys. I like, I like. Guys, yeah, so here is how the foundation looks. You guys, I think I really, really like this. It does give that blurring effect like the liquid foundation. Um, it really just looks like a nice skin. I like the way this blended out. Again, you can either use a sponge, you can use a dense brush. I think it applied well on both sides. Again, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and finish my face and then I'm going to come back, show you the final uh, get up on my face and then we are gonna rock this boy all day. Y'all already know how I do, I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is the final look here. Nothing major, just put on the rest of my um, blush and uh, contouring a little bit on my nose and y'all just throw on a lippy and this is it. So right now it is currently, 948 if you guys can see that it's currently 948 so i'm gonna rock this bad boy all day y'all already know how i do um i do uh, i did put on a little highlight as well so we're gonna rock this bad boy all day and we're gonna see how fenty hold up it does it will it hold up like a uh liquid foundation will my oils begin to seep through we're gonna see all that i'm not gonna touch up anything but probably just the lippy um as i go out throughout the course of the day but y'all i'll be back and we'll see how this thing holds up see y'all later a few moments later well bestie i am back and it has been several several hours now i think i put on the foundation at about nine something and it is now if you guys can see that 548 um so it has been quite some time now that i have had on this foundation in here here's how we are looking you guys can see <clears throat> this is how we're looking um i think for a powder foundation this held up really really well um so let's get into it let me give you my thoughts so i feel like for a powder foundation this really exceeded my expectations um and i'm just looking here in the mirror um, it is normal for me to start getting oily in my T-zone, so I know I'm oily on my chin. Um, my forehead and stuff is starting to get oily. My nose is starting to get oily, which is normal. I've had this foundation on for at least eight hours, 
so that is typical I have not touched up I did not blot at all so this right here is typical for me with a liquid foundation um the reason why i'm so shocked and impressed with the fenty uh, powder foundation is because normally powder foundations break down on me fast which is why uh, a really strong reason why i stopped wearing a uh, max um powder foundation the studio fix because my nose within like two hours would be a greasy hot mess and i did not experience that with this fenty i kept throughout the day just looking at it checking in on it and to be honest with you guys i am really impressed all right i am definitely impressed with this foundation if you are looking for a powder foundation some people are not really into um liquids you prefer more of a powder foundation and you do like coverage if that is you i definitely will recommend this foundation for you now i know some of my drier skin girls um, are a little skeptical and afraid to try out powder foundations but listen it is all about how you um, apply your base what are you putting on your face for your base if you have dry skin i would definitely recommend before putting on any powder foundation you always want to put a hydrating primer on because if you have dry skin and that powder is not going to mix and it's going to be a mess so you always want to start out with the hydrating primer one of the ones i would definitely recommend is the one that i use which is the elf hydrating primer uh, serum and you guys this is really really good even for us combination skin girls it works well for me it doesn't uh, overproduce oils or anything like that so definitely if you guys are interested in trying this foundation out listen it gets a thumbs up for me um, if you are trying this out definitely think about and consider going down a shade if you know what your shade is in the liquid again i am 420 in the liquid but i definitely had to go down to 410 because the powder does come out um darker once it's on your skin and it definitely is darker um, than it shows in the pan because in the pan this is pretty light and so looking at it you want to think that this will match me but once you swatch it it does come out darker and then it oxidizes onto the skin and all of that so if you're interested in that powder just be aware of that but yeah guys that is and until next time guys and girls i will see you all in my next video